They can't continue to eat my house. It's so terrible. I'm Maya and I'm learning to transform a riverland in central Portugal into an off-grid sustainable homestead. Join me this week as I deal with intruders, creating a small building project in the woods, and get to know my extension chainsaw. And also I'm sharing some Atlantic Ocean vibes for you. If you like this project, please subscribe. I'd be so grateful. I just saw a snake. It's like a meter long. It's so scary. I'm gonna go into the cabin and not come out ever. Hi. Excuse me, what are you doing here? This snake is a ladder snake, which are pretty popular on the Iberian Peninsula. They are not poisonous. They kill small mammals, like up to little rabbits and birds. They can be up to 1 meter 60 long. The young ones have a pattern that looks like a ladder. The older ones have these two stripes. This kind of snake is quite common here, but I've never seen it before. And I was very scared. Normally they just flee if you are careful. The first flowers are Like ice cream. My family is helping me to take down two trees because I need them for something very important. Exciting. I'm building a bridge over this beautiful little creek so that you can access the swimming area better. Now I'm figuring out which kind of bridge I would like to have here. This is such a beautiful workplace. I'm so thankful. These are so pretty. I'm going to use them as protection of the soil against the sun on the garden bed. Good morning. So all of these trees would be nice to still take them down. So I'm going to try before the sun comes around. The steep hill behind the houses. The mimosas on it grew so much in one year that I need to take them down because otherwise it's not fireproof. Luckily I have a two meter extension for this little chainsaw so I can reach quite far. And then dirt got stuck on the blade, so the oil couldn't oil the chain anymore. So I needed to figure this out and clean it up. So that was it for the day. The beauty is what makes the difference. I appreciate this beauty so much.
is too much. And I don't know what to do with all the mimosas. Maybe I can borrow a wood chipper from somebody. <laughs> This is always a sign for an insect nest. There's like a wood bee eating my house. That's not cool. The carpenter bees, they make their own nest, which is about five centimeters long, where they put the different eggs in like little chambers. They can also make different pathways, different corridors from the main entrance. So they can really damage wood. Normally they nest in dead wood, but they can also damage wooden houses. Now I need to close the hole so they don't go in again. I just spray them with vinegar. They're making pretty big holes. It's a very disturbing noise when you hear an insect eating your house. <laughs> so it reminded me to do what I wanted to do the whole time. To get the ladder and fill up the holes. <laughs> Please come out now if you're in there. Well, I just need to fill up that hole now. <laughs> I hope that they all have gone out. Okay, this hole is fixed. I fixed these two other holes in the wood and that was the nest. In Portugal it's just not so cool to have wood outside because water and insects really like it. Dear carpenter bees, please do not come back here. Good morning, today is the third day of mimosa pruning. And today I need to cut the ones that are pretty high up. So I'm gonna have to step on the ladder. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I have to be really careful. progress I'm really happy
Now it's just that top part missing, which is already further away from the houses. I'm taking a little bike tour, 35 degrees, but who cares? This is just so beautiful. It's full moon. I'm gonna look for some wood in this basement here. I just need some flat ones for the bridge. This was what I was looking for. Take the two biggest ones as the outside and then the small ones in the middle and then just screw them together. more stable to walk on. So let's screw them on. Finally a bridge, now it will be so easy to go to the river. I'm so happy the bridge is done because before I always had to climb down here and about three times I was falling into the creek because it's quite slippery here. And now nobody has to fall, nobody has to climb. It's so nice to be able to use the local materials, the screws I had left over and the planks I found in the cellar. From 
the two trees that we cut down for the bridge, I now have some firewood. I'm gonna put it under here to dry. Let's cut some more mimosas. I think today will be the last day I'm doing this because it looks pretty good. Thank you for enduring this adventure with me. And then the land is fireproof as much as it is possible for me. It's not easy to do this big task, but seeing the progress day by day helps. And it's amazing how far you can reach with the ladder. The last piece of land. Now the work begins to put everything on piles. If you are knowledgeable in this, I'm open to tips if I should use pesticides or, or try to cover the hill with something because the steeple needs to stay clear behind the houses but it's also so close to the river. Another one! I'm freaking out! Oh god, I don't know what to do. So there's another hole here. I need to close it right now. I mean, there's so much wood laying around here, really. They need to go somewhere else. I cut all of these sprouting mimosas down. Since I'd like to keep their nutrients on this land, I am planning to rent a wood chipper to make some wood chips out of them. But they are so busy that I didn't get the wood chipper for this week, unfortunately. I'm going to move all the branches to piles. to eat it if you remove the bark. All right. To me, that's alright. I, I spend my days just dreaming about you. Well, now that's just what I will do. I can't see and can't smell the mimosas anymore. I'm really done. So now the wood shepherd can come. Not to me, that's all right. So if 
a fire would come it would definitely have not much to burn on here so I'm really relieved that the property is fireproof as much as possible now I don't know if this difference is that much visible here but it definitely feels so different today is gonna be one of the hottest days and we are going to the beach a nice beach day because it's not so hot it's super nice Just for a day. 